Hughes. Want to join me in the captain's office? Can I go first? I have a baby, and I've already been away from her for 28 hours already. I'm fine with that. OK. And I don't need an office. Anything I need to say, I can say in front of Vic. I should say no to that, but my gut says OK. Why should you say no? Because protocol. Yep. Yeah. And what does your gut say? That there's something you want her to hear, and that's the only way you're going to say it. <laughs> yeah, your gut's wrong. I just want to finish my workout. Guns like these don't grow on trees. <laughs> What's your baby's name? Pruitt Arike Miller. Pruitt. <sighs> yep. Yeah, anyway, we call her Prue, but she's named after our old captain. And Arike? It's a Nigerian name. Of the Yoruba people. That's my mother's tribe. It means cherished one. <laughs> and is your mother pleased with the name? Well, my mother won't meet her. She won't meet her because? Because she has a very specific idea of how I should live my life having a baby out of wedlock. It ain't it. So your mother won't meet the baby. What does that mean for you? It means that my father won't meet her either. It means that I've disappointed them beyond their lowest expectations. It means they're cutting me off. What? Sorry, what? Um, sorry, I'll be quiet. They're cutting you off financially or emotionally? Both. When did they tell you that? Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Hang on, just so I'm clear, are you two friends or are you a couple? Friends. I'm just helping him with Prue and I I moved in and we take it in shifts. It's a... You moved in. She needed a yeah, place. I needed a place. But you're just friends. God, why is that so hard for everyone to believe? <laughs> Who's everyone? Uh, boyfriend. My ex-boyfriend. He broke up with me because I moved in with Dean and he doesn't believe there's nothing between us. He broke up with you because you moved in with him without telling him and then you moved in with me without consulting Why him. are you taking his side? I'm not taking well, his yeah. side. I am your friend. Okay. I am. And as your friend, it is my job to tell you the truth, even when you don't want to hear it. And I am not going to be your yes man specifically because you're, I don't know, the closest thing to family that I've got anymore. I mean, I, I have a sister, but she's in Chicago and she's a lawyer. She's working 80 hours a week miserable profession that my parents approve of. I hate them. You don't know them. And I don't hate them, I can't. When I was a kid, my mother, she'd walk me to school every morning. And the kids, they'd, uh, they'd call us names and they'd make fun of me because we looked different and because she sounded different. And she'd pull me aside. She'd look me right in my eye and she would say, we are Nigerians, you know? Mm -hmm. And that... There's a lot of pride in that and such high expectations. So to my parents, there are literally four careers, a doctor, a lawyer, a banker, and a disappointment. I crushed her when I became a firefighter. That's what my mother said. Those are the words that she used. She said, I crushed her and I brought her so much shame and I couldn't understand how my choices could have brought her so much shame. And now I do because that's exactly what her choices are doing to me. I feel so much shame for her because she won't meet my little girl. My perfect little girl with her perfect little fingers and her perfect little eyes and my mother won't know her and I don't hate my mother, but shame on her. Vic, I need you in my life. I don't want you to move out. Pru and I are grateful for you every day, but there's something that has been on my mind that I've been wanting to say and uh, I'm not going to hold my tongue just to make you happier because I, I need you to stay. Fine. I think you love Jackson. I think you sabotage things with him because you feel guilty about moving on from Ripley so fast. And if you were my girl and you pulled what you pulled, I'd have ended it. I think you should fix things with him because I don't want to be the reason why you're brokenhearted again. My best friend when I was in college was a 90-year-old in my grandmother's assisted living facility. Mm -hmm. His name is Milton. And way after my grandmother didn't recognize me anymore.